Welcome guys. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. My name is Kamoy and welcome to my channel. Just a little bit before I jump into your reading, I will be doing the wonderful sign of Aries today for the week of March 25th to March 31st, okay? I have to write stuff down because it's a lot of information and I don't want to go off on a tangent, okay? So, before I jump into your reading for this week, guys, let me just go ahead and tell you a little bit about how I am going to be doing my readings and what I do here on this channel, okay? Once again, my name is Kamoy and I want to welcome you, okay? This is going to be the reading for Aries, for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Um, and you can pay attention to any particular placement also in your personal name chart all right my channel is really dedicated to anyone in their spiritual path um any light workers any empath anyone that's seeking spiritual guidance anyone that's into symbols uh, it's also about encouragement and motivation and to kind of give you uh, more information about the forces that we deal with that you uh interact with on a daily basis and may not even be aware of okay I want you to keep in mind that energy is fluid, okay? So you take what you need and you leave what you don't, okay? Do not get stuck in time because divinity, the source, the creator God, or however you choose to relate to these messages, there is no such thing as time, you know? Everything is happening at the same time, okay? So that's a whole nother video. Uh, so do not get caught up in time. As far as time is concerned, it can be anywhere from two weeks to two months to two years. So just be mindful that you could be going through this experience right now or this energy right now, or it could take a while before you experience this energy, okay? So take what you need, leave what you don't, okay? So I pulled two chakra cards for your sign, guys, okay? And then I go into clarification using a different deck of cards as to what you may need to pay attention to okay i am a certified reiki level two healer three cards popped out so i'm gonna grab them i am a certified um level two reiki healer okay and what i do is i use my gift to help people unblock and to help people to bring a little bit more balance in their life as well as uh insight Focus, drive, motivation, whatever it is that you on a personal level may need. Uh, so although this information is general, like I said, and it may not be for everyone, take what you need and leave what you don't, okay? This week, guys, my wonderful Aries, you had three cards that popped out on the board. You have Quest, which is a throat chakra card. And you have vanity, which is also a throat chakra card. So the blue represents the throat chakra, which is how you express yourself, okay? And you have enlightenment, which is a solar plexus card, and that is right above your belly button. This is an interesting combination because when I did the collective pull, what popped out actually was vanity, was one of the cards that popped out uh, in the collective pull, which is where we are collectively as a whole, anybody, everybody in this planet. Um, so we had vanity that popped out and we had um, uh, acceptance that popped out. And acceptance is a root card, okay? Um, so vanity, let's start with vanity. First of all, this is a throat chakra card, and this is definitely about how you express yourself, which is a wonderful place to be, my wonderful Aries, because we are in Aries season, okay? And you guys begin uh, the spring equinox, and this is all about a new year. So you really start the new year off within the zodiac um, uh, signs, or really if you're studying um, energy and you're studying energetic pattern, you're really starting to really transform yourself all over again. So this is really now the time, my wonderful Aries, for you to kind of step up and take Take action in the things that you need to take action in, okay? Now, this is all about courage. This is all about awareness, okay? And this is all about you choosing, are you going to serve your ego, right? Or are you going to serve your spirit, okay? Now, pay attention also because the sun right now is shining on your sign and, and you're ruled by Mars, okay? So Mars is all about getting up and getting, taking action. You want to be mindful not to be too aggressive in your approach um, as we are coming in um, just into Aries season in particular because that is really, really strong energy. That is the I am energy. So that is the pattern that you guys operate on, okay? So how are you going to be expressing yourself this week is going to be very important because you have two throat chakra cards on the board okay are you expressing yourself based in your awareness and your truth or are you still shrinking back and living let's just say for the joneses you know or living um how you think other people um 
will accept you, okay? This is the time for you to step forth and really live the way that you want to be accepted, okay? It's not about other people in, in this season. It's really about you stepping into your truth is what I'm hearing, okay? Now, you also have Quest, which is a throat chakra card. And this is all about the journey, the journey and self-awareness, okay? This is all about are you really seeing yourself in your true light, right? Now... You guys rule the first house, and the first house is all about um, your personal issues, your personal insecurities, your personal fears, okay? So the first house rules anything that has to do with the personal self, okay, Aries? And it's going to be important for you guys to really take a look and um, how are you... Um, projecting your true self to the world, okay? It is important for you to really master your insecurities um, as you're transitioning um, through the sun being in your sign. Really master your insecurities and do shit afraid is what I'm hearing, okay? You will be gaining, gaining a lot of enlightenment this week. So what this says to me, for those of you that are feeling anxious, you definitely may want to do some solar plexus work, which is meditation or maybe paying... Um, um, uh, attention to who you have in your ear, okay? Because that's what I heard. You want to pay attention to who is in your ear, okay? There's somebody in your ear that is not giving you the best advice, especially when it comes to how you see yourself, my wonderful Aries, okay? This is a time when you have to quiet down, guys. You're going to have to quiet down. Now, um, last week, it was the same thing. Three cards was popping out, and I asked for two, so I went with the three cards. Um, and it's, it, it was kind of like it was double. It was repeating the chakras in the cards also for some of the signs, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, so three is significance because three uh, represents manifestation, guys, okay? So you have to pay attention to that because you guys are definitely the I am energy, okay? Pay attention to how you're viewing yourself, okay? Pay attention to how you're viewing yourself. That is definitely important, okay? And also, it's important to pay attention to how you're viewing other people, too, because there's somebody in your ear. There's somebody in your ear. And it kind of feel like this person is just dumper. They just come in and they dump shit, okay? Or maybe even that's your energy, Aries, where you, you come in and you dump shit, okay? There's some enlightenment coming in, okay? Maybe even some download, especially if you're, you're a meditator, okay? Meditator, I don't even know if that's a word, but okay, whatever. Um, so if you're meditating, there's definitely some uh, wisdom coming in, okay? Uh, if, you, if you are not journaling, uh, meditation would be good. Uh, if you... Um, can meditate and journal that would also be very helpful for you Aries okay so now we're going to go ahead and um, take a look at what really is going on with your sh your throat chakra and your solar plexus this week that you're going to have to be mindful for for mindful of okay so I am using my vision quest uh, deck Okay, and guys, just so you know, I don't know if I um, captured all of that on camera, but uh, I'm going to say this now. I record from my sacred space, so you're not always going to catch me blessing the room on camera. Um, if that is super important to you, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Uh, to save time, you will not always see me doing that. Um, but I do always uh, thank my uh, ancestors, our uh, guides divine source the creators uh a highest highest self and all the positive good in the world um and in the universe that's for us to take part in and be a part of is what i call for with clarity understanding wisdom and knowledge okay Let's see. All right. 
So, my wonderful Aries, there is um, there is energy asking you to really start to integrate everything that you've learned, right? And it really looks like you're going to go into a quiet space because you know that you need to manifest. You know that you need to manifest, so you're going to have to be patient, okay? You have integration, which is uh, like temperance, and then you have the, the hermit. So you're going to have to go in and be patient, especially when it comes to the journey, the quest. Okay. There is um, some fear still going on, Aries. Okay. And this fear could definitely be connected to some maybe some childhood stuff that you guys need to deal with. Okay. Okay. Now, it's important for you to be really um, quiet is what I'm getting, right? Okay, because you got this fearful energy coming in here, right? So this is really all about your, your thinking. Be, you know, maybe you're restless, you know? You're in your head too much, okay? Okay. Um, then you got the daughter of ear coming in, right? Um, it's okay to be curious or it's okay to have that curious energy. What's not okay is to share with people that can't really help you bring things into manifestation because not everybody that you think is for you, Aries, is what I'm hearing is for you, especially as you're going through manifestation, okay? As you're going through this hermit phase, you may not want to share it as much. So you got a lot of emotional balance coming in here, especially when it comes to um, vanity, um, paying attention to um, your ego and growth and understanding coming in awareness, spirit versus ego, right? Uh, you have emotional balance coming in. You got the daughter of water, right? And then you have the ace of water. So the ace of water is love, communication, creativity, okay? Your cup runneth over. Wherever love is, that's what you, you know, you're vibrating or at least, you know, and if you're not um, mindful, right, you can get caught up in just, you know, especially if you're not mindful, you can get caught up in this aggressive energy, um, of trying to manifest um, where you're, where you're um, a little too harsh when you don't need to be, okay? So you want to pay attention to your emotions because there's definitely um, emotional healing coming in, especially when it comes to do with childhood stuff because you have the father of water coming in here, and this is like the king of water, the king of cups coming in, emotional balance. You got a lot of... um. Water cards on the clarification for vanity. You got daughter of water, father of water, and ace of water. If you take a look at these cards, okay? Creative beginnings, okay? From a more still place. Creative ways to handle things. Not so You're not so much in your feelings. Then you got the eight of uh, fire coming in, right? Bringing in insight, okay? That's that understanding. Now, you want to pay attention to, because you don't want this to come in um, and burn shit up, because this is fast-moving energy, so this is about taking action, okay? But you want to make sure that you're mindful um, not to take action hastily. Or keep, you know, like hitting your head against the wall, doing the same bullshit. And it's, it's not really getting you what you want, okay? Then when it comes to enlightenment, what you need to be working on, on your solar plexus, right? You have the sun of fire. And when the sun of fire pops up, this is like, um, I want to say like the, 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 the night of fire, 
Um, so this is all about passion, lust, attraction, adventure, right? All of that is yours to have. But if you're operating from passion, um, you can't, you know, there's a balance between passion and lust, right? You gotta, you gotta balance that shit. It, it just really feels like you being able to balance, um, what you want, um, versus what you're truly desiring. Cause it feels like, it, it really feels like you need to get clear about who you are and what you want. Okay. Because it's kind of like you're calling in, um, security. You want security. You got four of earth here. Balance. And this is coming in on the enlightenment. And there's something, yep, yeah, see, here we go. You got the lovers. Now, this is a Gemini. So I, I don't know if there's a Gemini um, in, your, in your chart or maybe even um, um, whatever this is that you need to bring into emotional balance. Okay, especially some childhood stuff. Okay, it's affecting your relationship. Emotional security, it's like you want emotional security, right? But it's, it's kind of like, are you operating in lust or passion, um, Aries? Because then you got the daughter of earth. Manifestation opportunity. And this is all on the enlightenment, your solar plexus. Okay, so let me just do a little quick breakdown. Your clarification for quest, which is your throat chakra, is saying that you need to really go internally and take everything that you've learned, okay? And you're going to have to get quiet about it and maybe not share so much. Just go internally and get quiet, okay? You also need to stop operating in fear. And stop sharing so much with people that don't really give a shit about your vision or where you really want to go. Clarification for vanity, your another throat chakra, okay, your ego versus your spirit. It's all about getting insight about your emotional feelings. And it definitely feels like this you're viewing something from your childhood, um, which is causing friction in your emotions and maybe even your, your relationship, your loving relationship, something to do with your love, or maybe even a husband, or even how you view love, okay? You got the fall of water coming in with emotional balance and you have the ace of water coming in saying you can really have whatever you want. Just back, not, you can have whatever you desire. Okay. You just need to balance. And then for your solar plexus chakra, and this is where your fear is in shit lie, right? It is saying that security is yours to have, but are you going to follow love or, uh, or, or lust? Okay. See, and this definitely comes, You. it's like you want a... It's like you want a mature, stable relationship, but that's going to ask you to make some decision and make some grown choices, okay? See, because this is like Gemini coming in here and saying, um, you got to be versatile. You can't just be so stuck in your ways, Aries, okay? Especially when it comes to do with love, because, you know, Okay. Then you got the daughter of earth coming in and she's saying manifestation is happening. You have financial growth um, with this person, you know, or maybe financial growth once you get past this perception um, that's hindering this love to come in. Because it's something from your childhood, I'm, I'm sensing. It's something from your childhood, guys, okay? All right, uh, the way you view love, the way you view women, the way you view men, you need to pay attention to that, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, especially the way it's, it's your interpersonal relationships that we're highlighting right now, guys. There's something about your love relationship and how you are viewing something based on your childhood experience. Okay. All right, my wonderful Aries. I hope this was very, very helpful. Um, before you go, I do want to give you some things about your um, throat chakra as well as your um, solar plexus so you can 
just have some insight, okay? Now, your throat chakra is all about expressing yourself, like I said, okay? So now, this is all about uh, where our Akashic field is. Uh, this is the ether field, okay? So, um, remember when I said um, pay attention to talking too much? That can definitely be a signal that you need to... Uh, reinforce your throat chakra meditation is key journaling if you feel you need to get shit out you need to journal shit okay um also gossiping okay um stuttering can also be in um just a difficulty being silent okay and just or also having the need to feel like you need to be the loudest one in the room okay so these are things that you want to pay attention to okay um or saying things in a small, weak voice, or being um, fearful of speaking. So you want to pay attention to this, okay? Now, when your throat chakra is in a balanced place, you have clear communication, okay? Um, and you have a good sense of um, timing and rhythm, rhythm, and you're a good listener, okay? It is important for you guys if you need uh, throat chakra work, especially if you feel like you don't speak um, you don't speak up enough, you definitely want to start doing so, okay? And you don't have to do so, I said, with that aggressiveness, okay? You want to do so maybe by, um, how about this? You want to do so by maybe not committing so much to doing something, especially if it's not your truth, okay? And instead of saying yes, because that's what I'm get, I'm hearing, person, instead of saying yes, you want to say, let me think about that, or can I get back to you on that? Okay, now I also want to talk about your um your solar plexus. Okay, now your solar plexus, guys, is um the third chakra up. Okay, and this is your ego. This is your uh your will. Okay, and this is where you can get too controlling or be a little bit too arrogant, too um hypersensitive. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, too hyperactive, um too stubborn. Aries, okay, um, lack of energy, and this can also even af affect your di your digestion, your digestion, okay. Oh gosh, um, when this is also in a balanced state, this also yields clear communication. So all of these things are asking you to really clearly communicate what you want by taking a look at really what you want, what you desire. Uh, and not, you know, this is all about free will right here. Okay. This is all about going in, going in and pulling from the ethers from within. So that's speaking your truth. Even if things don't look the way you think they should in the natural, that doesn't mean that you can't speak things that not, um, speak things as if. Uh, they are, even though they're not. What's that saying go? Um, what's the saying go? Ah, uh, shit. It's at the tip of my tongue. Fake it till you make it. Right? Fake it till you make it. But you got to pay attention to this vanity, this arrogance. How are you viewing yourself? Allow yourself to be enlightened. And I'm also hearing um, Spirit saying this. Enlightenment is also going to come through your uh, connection with others. So you want to pay attention to that, okay? Not everybody's out to get you and not everybody's out to change you. Um, however, it's very important how you're viewing yourself this week. You're going to have to get quiet and go into hermit mode and figure that out. That's going to be super important. I know this video was a little long, okay? Um, Forgive me. I am going to do better on timing. I'm going to try to make the rest of the videos a little shorter. I did not anticipate it to be this long. Please make sure you like, you share, and you subscribe. Like I said, these videos are meant to be enlightenment, motivation, um, for any empath, anyone in their spiritual journey, experiencing um, different things. Uh, also, my lovelies, okay, we're coming into springtime, my wonderful Aries. I'm also here. You need to get out into the sun. I'm hearing get out into the sun, okay? You want to get out into the sun, especially those of you that have been hibernating or went too long, get out into the sun. And you can be in hermit mode and be in the sun. That doesn't mean that you have to be out with friends and people, but you definitely need to go sit in the sun. Make sure you drink plenty of water, okay? All right, my wonderful Aries, I will see you guys in next week's reading. Remember to be mindful of how you're expressing yourself this week as well as... 
what's on your mind in your solar plexus, okay? All right, guys. Have a wonderful week. Make sure you do something kind for yourself, and I'll see you guys next week's reading. Bye, guys.